Hello and welcome to this video. I recently got the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eye Palette in Exagger Eyes, which I have been lusting over for a long time, pretty much ever since I bought the quad in Pillow Talk. So I bought the quad in Pillow Talk at least a year ago now and I love it. It's so iconic. Um, I like the size, I like the formula, I like the ease of use and the eye looks that I generally get with it. They're just really smooth and consistent. And when I was picking out my first quad, I wavered really hard between these two colorways, the Exaggerize and the Pillow Talk because they are definitely um, comparable. And I think if you're like on the market for something pinky but easy to use and slap on, your eyes would definitely gear towards these two. And I went the, with the Pillow Talk in the first place because Pillow Talk is just so iconic from Charlotte Tilbury and I wanted to try out her like signature color line. But as time has gone on and I've seen more people who have the Exaggerize use it I've and just looked at the colorway, I, I thought like, ah, oh, that seems just right. That seems just perfect. And you know, I, I think it is now that I've tried it because as much as I love the ease of use of um, all the shades in here, like this rosy brown, one of my favorite types of shades easily. Um, I really like mixing these two together. It does pull a little bit orangey on me sometimes, which I don't really mind like an orangey pinky look. I think it's still very, very pretty, um, even if it's like a little warm. But all in all, the, the Exaggerized Quad pulls a little bit more neutral and that is just all around a little more up my alley. So in any case, this video is just to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two quads in particular in case you're in that subcategory of people wavering between the two and I would insist that you probably don't need both. I happen to have both and if I could only choose to, now with all the knowledge I have, purchase one, I would have gone with the Exaggerize, personally. So I'm actually, I'll just let it be known that I'm wearing the Exaggerize on my right eye. So on my this eye and I'm wearing the pillow talk on this eye and I generally create a look that looks just like this if I'm using all the shades in the palette and I'll show myself applying these um, what I did and what I usually do with these quads are um, I'll take the matte shade and put that all over the lid and kind of wing it out a little bit and bring a significant amount of whatever is left over on my brush and smudge that all over my lower lash and then on the pillow talk side because with the exaggerized there's only one matte color on the pillow talk side I will either mix the two matte colors together or a lot of the times I'll only just use this rosy brown color um, Sometimes I will go in and try to use them distinctively, but the colors are kind of close enough that they really blend and blur together into one like pinky warm brown uh, pretty consistently. And then I put the, the one lightest shimmer shade in my inner corners from both. And the one from Pillow Talk is significantly pinker, peachier, whereas the one from Exaggerize is more of just a pretty like pearly white shampoo, almost even a light gold. So here is Pillow Talk and then this side is Exaggerized. So I'll, I'll walk through everything as we go through it. Um, and then finally, well, just to, for the sake of showing it in this video, I also went in with this like shimmer, like light bronzy brown on my Exaggerized side of eye. Um, and then I think with layering these two together, you actually end up with something that gets because this like shimmery shade is a little bit warmer when I layer these two together it kind of pulls the whole thing warmer and creates an outcome that is even closer looking to what I could get from the pillow talk and then finally I put the pop shadow from each on um, my eyelid just like all over the center of my eye a little bit under like the 
center of my lower lash line. And that's the look that is has been mapped out on both eyes and is generally what I do with these palettes when I decide to use them. It looks pretty similar, doesn't it? It's a little bit warmer and lighter on this side and there's a little bit more depth on this side and obviously the sparkles from the uh, pop shade from Pillow Talk are peachier and the, the sparkles from the pop shade from Exaggerize have a little bit more of like a silver cooler shift to them but all in all I think when I sit back and I see myself it's not too apparent that I'm wearing two different shades. So this is to show that I don't think you need both of them. And the differences between like what would lead you to one or the other are just kind of the nuances of like whether you want something that's warmer or pinker or something that's a little bit more neutral. So getting into the colors we have here, again, this is pillow talk on this side and you can see it's definitely pinker, warmer, um, in pretty much every shade but uh, like these two shades here the like two deepest matte browns they're pretty close and then even the like bronzy uh brownish shimmer color is very close to how this matte brown in the pillow talk looks um color wise it just is a little bit more neutral and has a sheen, obviously. The biggest differences are, I really, really like this light champagne-y pink shade. Um, it's pretty unique in my collection and is super flattering on my inner corner. Uh, whereas this light, like light white gold, yellow gold is, while equivalently nice of a formulation and easy to use. I don't feel like it's as special and unique. But what really stands out to me is between the two pop shades, I love the one in Exaggerize. This one like from Pillow Talk, it's like a little coppery slash rose goldy. It, they both have like a similar amount of sparkle. I guess in this swatch, maybe it's just the lighting. I feel like the Exaggerize ones comes off a little bit shinier, but I think it's, because of the colors, the one, the colors of the like glitter particles in the pillow talk are just proportionally have less like white glitters. So it looks a little less shiny on the eye, a little bit, a hint less wet looking because a lot of the glitter particles are like a copper colored glitter and that just doesn't shine as bright. The closest thing I have in my collection is probably Space Cowboy from Urban Decay's Moon Dust line. So I'll swatch that next to it here. Um, and the glittery particles are a little bit more like twinkly and small in the Moon Dust shade, whereas the like base pigment behind it is a little bit warmer and stronger but they have the same sort of like glittery particles and overall wet look shininess. Um, I do have a small handful of like these sorts of really glimmery, mostly silvery white based um, glitter top coat shades. And nevertheless, I still feel like the one from this Exaggerized palette stands out and kind of holds its own as being a little unique to the others. It's not really something most people would notice on my eye, but it just pairs so nicely with this palette. I don't have too much more to say. The big takeaway is like, they're similar. You don't need both. And like, it comes down to whether you want something a little bit new more neutral pulling or something a little bit, a hint, a hint lighter and uh, warmer. And I hope that this was helpful. If there's any other details that you think would have been relevant to touch on, definitely let me know because I was kind of racking my brain of like, what do I have to go over here? Overall, love the formula, really fun to use. This, I feel like, the as, this being the Exaggerize, I feel like um, really pairs well with my coloring pretty much all the time. Um, it's still, a little on the warm side, but super pretty. Yeah.
Okay. Thanks for watching. Let me know if this helps.